We have all the A, G, C's, and T's of the human genome, but we have not yet identified all of the actual coding sequences. Today, the sequence data is driving biology. No longer do you go in the lab and do the chemical analysis first. You do everything computationally first, and then, to save time and cost, you go into the lab after you've computationally checked to see if your hypothesis first works in the computer. Different agencies or whoever are gonna hire you, they're gonna want you to know how to do the computations first. That comes first, the laboratory work comes second. We're trying to develop real world projects that exist out there uh, because of the amount of data being generated from projects like the Human Genome Project. There's simply data sitting out there that has not been analyzed whatsoever. It has, nobody's ever looked at it. The cores in a normal computer, if you have a quad core, it means it has four cores. In one of our GPUs, we have uh, approximately 500, 448 to be exact, cores in each card. And we put two of these cards into each supercomputer, essentially giving it nearly 1,000 cores. The supercomputers give us the ability to analyze these large data sets that will allow us to identify genes that have, have never been identified before. This program, running on a regular computer, takes anywhere from four or five days to give you an answer. We have actually rewritten the software to run on our supercomputers, and we can get an answer in less than an hour. We came up with this idea of me writing new versions of some existing bioinformatics tools such that they could take advantage of these uh, Tesla cards. These tools had taken uh, 40 minutes to four hours to process a human genome and, and using the Teslas we got it down to you know a minute. I was able to find some mistakes in the originals, provide corrections to the original authors and now we're in contact with the original authors and we're going to be probably at some point publishing corrected data and because we can now process these genomes in such a short amount of time, we should be able to publish large amounts of data. Well, I'm not a grad student. I've graduated from this school. Oh, I see. And the, the person I'm working with is a grad student. This advance has been enabled a tremendous acceleration in the in analytical processes. Some of these programs that are being improved here are used by people all over the world, scientists all over the world, to analyze genomes of humans and many other organisms. And because of the dramatic increase in efficiency, I think it's going to be a game changer in terms of how many genomes can be analyzed by any given scientist or group who's looking to derive data from, from genomes. So I think this has a chance to have a true global impact. And who would have thought that it would come right out of here out of Lone Star College's little biotech program? <laughs> So we're very excited and very proud.